In this video, I'm gonna be sharing all of my thoughts about the new Shark Flex Fusion Styler. Now look, there are so many tools like this on the market. We know this, right? So what's the difference between this one and another one? And what's the big deal about having all these interchangeable attachments to one tool when you can have a blow dryer and a straightener and a curling iron? all separately like what's the point of having them all in one so if you're wondering if the shark flex fusion styler is worth it keep on washing so my hair is still pretty damp from when i washed it so i'm gonna go in first with a rough dry i'm following the instructions that shark gave me okay so i'm going in first with a rough dry i'm gonna turn her on here oh Ooh. that has some power before I get started, this thing has three heat settings. And for a little tool like this, it has a lot of power coming out of this little head right here. But I wanna see what this scalp shield is supposed to do first. Um, so I feel like it's just a mix of hot and cold air together kind of. And maybe that's what the scalp shield is. I'm not really sure. That part's a little confusing, but I don't really need to stay there because I need to, I want to get on to the next part, which I'm the most excited about, which is using the actual straightener part of this. So we're going to see. There have been other tools on the market that have been like wet to dry straighteners that have had mixed results for people. I've personally never used one of those before. So this will literally be my first time using a wet to dry straightening tool so this is the straightener okay so it's clipped in pretty easy so now now this is kind of a big tool <laughs> it's got a little bit of weight to it so let's see how she does so it's going to be in wet to dry all the way up what i'm going to do today is i'm going to use it in the highest settings on both just to see so the leave-ins i'm using today are going to be the fenty hair five in one styler the protective type and then the color wild dream coat because I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. So I wanna make sure I've got heat protectant and something to fight the frizz with. And I'm not using a lot of cream, just using enough to coat my hair. Then I'm gonna go in with my dream coat. So that was four passes, and this is what it looks like now. It's definitely dry, it's definitely dry, and but it's still got some texture. It feels really cold, actually. So I'm gonna do hot styling. Wow, oh, okay, okay. There it is. Okay, so that's what you gotta do. Okay, so you gotta do the wet to dry first and then the the final pass do the hot, which may be a little interesting styling wise, but let's finish my whole head and see how long that takes us. Okay, so y'all look, this is just with using the wet to dry function with the straightener and this is with using the dry styling function with the straightener. So, tip that we learned today was to, instead of trying to do each piece or each little section with just the wet to dry, because you're not gonna get that smooth result that you're looking for with that function alone, what you wanna do, and what I've been doing today, is actually do a whole section on the wet to dry, which is gonna get you to this point, like that blowout point, but it's like a smooth blowout point. And then with one pass or a couple passes with the actual hot styling function, you get your smooth straight look, which is still giving texture and not overly pressed out, if you know what I mean. It's going to give you a great base to either leave it like a blowout straight look 
Or what I'm going to do is use the curling wand little contraption to get some curls in here that'll look like a blowout style. And then come back to y'all. Do we see her? Like, we could really just stop here, but I wanna use this little thing right here. I wanna give us some curls, because who am I without a little curl, a little bounce, a little body in my hair? I'm going to put it on to the dry styling setting, and I'm gonna do it at the second highest heat with the most air power. Okay, so what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I mean, I, 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 I cannot believe I used one tool to get this look. Completely, one thing, one tool, that's it. No other tools were used except the Shark Flex Fusion. Like, come on, do you see this? Come on, Belle.